What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. I got some new coins, I got some cool stuff, and I got a mail call. Stay tuned. What's going on everyone? So I have a cool piece of mail that I got in the mail today. I'm really excited to open this up and share it with all of you. This is all the way from Austria. Man, I love doing international sticker trades. So much fun. And this is from Austrian Stacker. I love that little signature he does. I'm not sure what got all over the envelope, but I think we're okay. No big deal. So let's open this up here see what we got all the way from Austria um, I sent him some stickers and some coins as well I know he got those so let's take a look in here man what we got there's something at the bottom as well and I think that's it very cool oh look at these the little EU stackers very cool I like these little stickers. That's really awesome. And I finally got the Austrian Stacker stickers. These are super cool, real nice, heavy-duty stickers. I love that logo. Man, that looks awesome. He's got the Philharmonic on there. Really cool. Man, awesome. Hello, Patriot Stacker. I hope this finds you well. Thanks for the sticker trade. Keep stacking. Take care, Austrian Stacker. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate you doing the trade. I love your logo and your stickers. You have a great channel. And if you don't know Austrian Stacker, which you probably do, but if you haven't checked out his channel yet, click the link down below in the description. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Watch his videos. He's got awesome stuff. He's always showing off really cool coins and a lot of great knowledge. So definitely check out the Austrian Stacker. Like I said, link down below. Cool. Thank you so much, man. We'll stick this over here in the background for now. And you probably see I got some other things on the screen here. First off, I was just down in Florida, Key West, Florida, going around, having a good time. I was on a little vacation. And one of the main things I was looking for was a cool pirate treasure chest. And I did find one. I think this thing is so awesome. I mean, it's heavy duty. It's made out of some kind of some kind of really hard plastic or something. But it's all empty now. But we are going to fill this up with some pirate's treasure. I'm not sure yet. Maybe a bunch of foreign silver coins or maybe constitutional. I'm not sure. But I picked this up for like seven bucks. I think that thing was so cool. So we're going to start filling that with some cool silver coins. And I did post a video the other day, and I showed off some of the pieces that I picked up while I was down in Florida. I got these four rosy dimes, a 1953D, a 1959 a 1950D, and a 1956D. Lots of Denver mint marks there. So I got those at a pretty great deal, around $18 times face. I also got this clad coin, which I was hoping was silver because uh, I wasn't sure. It was in a flip, and I couldn't tell, but it is clad. It's not silver, but it's 1948 from Costa Rica with a cool edge lettering. Very cool piece. We got an early Canadian dime. Really cool with the, with the king on the obverse. We got the little silver Venezuela coin. We also got this real old 1854 four pence from Great Britain. Really, really cool piece there. I go into a little bit more depth on my other video, so you can take a look at the last video and watch that if you're interested. I also picked up four of these little one gram vintage silver art bars. 
they're kind of cool. These three have snowmen on them, and this one has like a velociraptor on it. So this one's cool. The snowmen are kind of goofy, but whatever. They're silver. They're vintage. They're cool. I think they're from maybe the 70s or 80s. Uh, I did pick up two other pieces at a flea market that I didn't show in my last video. Uh, my last day before we left, uh, we stopped at this flea market, and I did pick up this. Pretty good deal, I think. I paid a dollar for it. It's really hard to see. It's super worn. Let's see if I can even get this to focus. I don't think you're going to be able to read the date on the camera, but it's an 1855, and that's Napoleon III. There we go. You can kind of see that 1855. You got Napoleon III there on the obverse, and this is from France. I love the reverse on this coin. It's got the really cool-looking eagle. Empire of France. And it's really hard to see. It does have a D mint mark. And it says D-I-X. So D-I-X is 10. So this is 10 cent centimes or centimes, however you pronounce that. I believe it's centimes. But I think this super cool, nice old coin. This is made out of bronze. Really, really cool piece. I love the eagle on there. Oh yeah, I always forget it flips that way. Love that eagle design. Ten centimes from France, 1855. I paid a dollar for that. I thought that was awesome. We also got this here. It's a 1943 Mercury Dime. It's got a hole in there because I think somebody wanted to make this some kind of necklace. Look at the other side. There is a heart that's like soldered on there. It looks like that might have been made out of a penny, that heart. It's definitely copper. So it's got a copper heart on one side and soldered onto a Mercury Dime with a hole. So kind of interesting. Let's zoom back out here. I thought that was kind of cool. I picked that up for a dollar. I mean, a dollar for a Merc Dime is not bad at all. Really, really cool. You know, I thought it was interesting. Maybe I'll put a, uh, like a little string or something through it and make it into a necklace. Give it to my wife or something. But I thought those were pretty cool pickups for just a buck a piece. Couldn't go wrong with that. Those are the only coins I found at the whole flea market, but I got a crazy deal on them, so that was cool. Last thing, funny story, we had a crazy flight home. So it was extreme turbulence the whole time. It was bumping and, and moving all around. It was crazy. It was, it was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. So we're you know, we're sitting there, we're we're kind of freaking out. Me and my wife are like, oh, we can't wait to get off this plane. You know, we're kind of like praying that uh, that everything goes well. So at the end of the flight, we're about to get off. I drop my cell phone on the ground. I go and pick it up, and under my seat are two coins, two foreign coins. So kind of funny. So these are pretty interesting. They are some pesos, I believe, from, let's see if I can get that to focus here. Republic de Colombia. Really, really cool. Kind of interesting design here. Let's see if I can get a better zoom. These are from Colombia. I believe they're pretty modern. 500 pesos from 2002. Kind of cool. And the other one is also from Colombia. Republica de Colombia, 200 pesos from 2016. And this one's got a cool design. It's got that parrot on there. Really, really cool. So, pretty funny. We, uh, you know, at the end of this trip, you know, I'm always looking for coins and stuff. And I go and look on the floor of the plane and I find two cool foreign coins thought that was kind of funny kind of interesting 
So these are all my pickups from my little trip in Florida. Also, we had that awesome mail call from Austrian Stacker that was in my mailbox when I got home. Thank you so much. Definitely check out the Austrian Stacker. He's awesome. He's got a great channel. And thank you all for watching today's video. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, coin collecting, precious metals, all that fun stuff. Ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.